So what's up guys? Today we're doing a video in front of the camera. My history is basically being behind the camera. So I thought in this video today, I'd show face and we'd be in the front of the camera. So if you like this style, let me know because we'll transition to this eventually. Okay, but we'll still do some of the behind the camera stuff. But in this video, what we're gonna use a little AI. So I'm recording all this with the Plod Note. If you don't know what the Plod Note is, this here little guy uh, basically is an AI recorder. So this is gonna transcribe <clears throat> and put into a note everything that I need to do for this video. So that's kinda cool. But what I'm gonna do in this video today is go over what I consider being the best everyday carry tech bag. And this, uh, this bag was sent to the show from Stuart and Lau. This is probably one of the best bags that I've come across. And this is going to be my most productive everyday carry in this tech bag, okay? This would, I, I would say this has been a couple years in the making, you know, since COVID, since we started working more remote, since we could work from anywhere. I've been putting together the best tech that there is. All right, that's what we're gonna go through in this bag in detail. So let's just go ahead and start, okay? We'll flash to the B-roll quite a bit as I'm tearing into this bag. I'm gonna go over this bag in a little bit of a B-roll here as well because this bag from Stuart and Lau is probably, like I said, one of the best bags that I've come across today. When it comes from being able to store and carry and just quality. Look at these zippers. I don't know if you can see these zippers in this light, but these zippers are just like the best zippers I've ever had in a bag. These leather handles, um, so many pockets. Anyway, we'll flash to the B-roll, go over the bag. Let's go ahead and start with this side of the bag. <clears throat> and you can get an umbrella from them <clears throat> or you can just get your own right <clears throat> so this is a fox umbrella made in england and as you can see it's got a nice wood handle and i got this from them and for uh disclaimer purposes they sent this to the show to review this bag and this umbrella package deal they look great together and this is a classy umbrella all right it's just it just says style and class and that's what we're going for on this channel is basically up in your game and showing a lot of style and class, okay? Now, what else is in this bag <clears throat> is these thin optics, and these are basically blue light blocking readers, all right? Do I need them on for this video? No, I don't, but they're usually in this bag, along with this plot note, my umbrella, which we may not do any B-roll on that, and then let's go to this side here. So we've got a couple things in this bag, in this pocket, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and pull them out one at a time. So I have my Ray-Bans. These are the Metas, and they are the transition lenses, okay? These just had a big uh, announcement, an update coming to them uh, from the uh, Meta conference. Then I have a... Uh, a monitor light. This goes on my uh, monitor. So if you're probably familiar with some of those um, bigger ones, this is a, a little one, okay? And it happens to be very, very nice and illuminate my workspace wherever I go. And this one here is uh, the laptop bar. And I believe it's from BenQ. So little b-roll for showing that off. Now let's go into, this is kind of my catch-all tech bag. This is a Bellroy uh, case. So basically what I keep in this Bellroy case um, are just some essentials. Like here's a little wrist rest for ergonomics for a keyboard mouse. Um, got some cables. I got a network cable in here and a microfiber cloth, a couple hubs, my uh, T7 Samsung Shield. It's an SSD, cables, I have a fan, um, and when I say a fan, it's a USB fan, 
So just mainly little odds and ends in this guy. You know, the stuff that you don't want to have just loose in your bag. Okay. So that's pretty much the front pocket of this bag right here. There is a little bag uh, pocket right here. So what do I carry in here? Basically, this is my SanDisk Professional enclosure, and this is for the sand blades. If you're not familiar with what a sand blade is, I actually have it right back here. So basically what I can do is pull out this sand blade, and this is a couple terabytes, I do believe, and then I put it into this box, right, like this, and this now becomes a USB-C uh, SSD, right? These are NVMe blades. Uh, so now it's like an enclosure. This is called like the, the Traveler or something like that. Uh, it's the transport, ProBlade transport. So instead of just carrying an SSD around, which I do for purposes that I might need it, this is my quick workflow. So this little blade slop slides out. And then when I come over here, I can just put it back in my, my blade housing over here. And now it's hooked up to my MacBook uh, Pro. So this little transport device is very, very nice when it comes to workflow. And I keep that right here in this little pocket that uh, we saw in the video B-roll for this guy. All right, now let's open the main area here. So what do I have in here? So this here is the Zebec, Zebec uh, Snap. And it's basically a three, two monitor system to make you like a three monitor setup with your laptop, okay? So very, very cool little device here for multiple screens, which gives you huge productivity uh, improvements. So definitely a must. And in this pocket also, I have my Anchor charger. So this has a built-in USB-C uh, plug and then an Apple Watch charger, which also charges the AirPods Pro second gen and AirPods 4. So you can basically use this for Apple Watch or for AirPods. And then again, it's got a built-in USB-C uh, so you can basically charge your devices. So a little B-roll there as well. All right, so that's pretty much it on the first two pockets. So let's get into Let's just zip this up because we're basically emptying this out, right? So let's flip it over. I have three pockets on the outside over here. And on this side, I have my memo bottle. This is their A7. Uh, carry what you want in it, right? Uh, water, uh, booze, make it a flask. Just depends on, I guess, what you do and how hard your day has been at work. Uh, then also I have a uh, travel router. This is the TP-Link travel router, so it's very, very nice to have this guy with you. It's USB-C powered, and basically it has uh, wired LAN and WAN and um, built-in VPN and stuff like that. So if you're traveling a lot and you use public Wi-Fi, uh, hotels, coffee shops, whatever, this little guy is a lifesaver, and basically you can use your own private network and connect multiple devices to this. It's really good at hotels that have just wired um, instead, if you want to use your Wi-Fi, <clears throat> you can pay for one device, plug into the WAN, and basically use the hotel's Wi-Fi and create a Wi-Fi or wireless uh, Wi-Fi you know, network on your own and connect your devices wirelessly to this and get the speeds uh, and security that you deserve. Then, if you don't have that option, I have a Verizon hotspot. So, I create my own Wi-Fi. So that, that's uh, definitely an option to have, right? Okay, now let's go ahead and open this last side. And this here, we'll fold it open here and you can see, very, very nice. We'll have a little B-roll in here as well. So I have a wireless keyboard. This is the Proto Arc folding keyboard. Um, it has its own little stand. This is a super, super nice um, folding keyboard. So again, if you don't wanna um, pack around a lot, this guy folds up and it's a full-size keyboard basically, right? Then I have a headset, so I take a lot of calls. I do have AirPods, as mentioned in here, but if I need a professional headset, uh, I have this Jabra uh, headset here. 
okay? Comes in very, very handy. Because sometimes you don't like to be speaking because your AirPods are catching the mics right here, right? This has a microphone that comes in front of my face. I don't have to talk as loud if I'm out in a public area. I can talk very softly. I don't bother people and people can't hear some of my conversations. So it's a great little option to have. Uh, then I also have the ProtoArc mouse right here. This has a built-in uh, hub. So kind of two devices in one. USB-C hub connected on the device. You've got HDMI, USB-A, and USB-C. So very, very nice little uh, device to have handy. Two-in-one ProtoArc folding keyboard and mouse. All right, then all these little pockets inside here, this is the greatness here, right? So uh, I have a USB-C thumb drive, I have a pillbox, I have my AirPods, I have my passport wallet, so yes, passport. Then it has a pin inside of that. I also have this in charge. This is a very, very cool cable. Um, folds up, but then it turns into multiple cables. So that's very, very nice. I have my Kindle Paperwhite. And then over here, I've got a couple pencils. This is a titanium pencil. Very, very nice pencil. And then also I have a titanium pen. This happens to be Nomad's titanium pen. Then I have some very, very nice, luxurious Bergamot hand sanitizer. This is also uh, not only hydrating hand sanitizer, but it's infused with Joba Joba, Rosa, Cananina, Argon, and Italia, and Berg, Bergamia? I don't know. I can't pronounce all that stuff. But uh, definitely some hand sanitizer. Smells good. It's hydrating. I have my Belkin um, continuity camera clip. MagSafe goes on my phone. I can use my phone versus the laptop. And that just kind of clips on like so. I have a flashlight and a multi-tool. So this is an HP. This is when I got at a conference somewhere. It's got screwdrivers built into it, all sorts of different uh, headsets from Philips to flatheads, different sizes. That comes in handy quite a bit. Then I also have another little pin with a highlighter on the end. And then just a actual leather journal. So can write and journal. And I don't know who that was from. And then the actual laptop right here. And this is in an Orbit Key uh, folio that folds in. So basically that stores the laptop. And then when you work, this folds into an actual like workspace, right? So you've got a little area for a mouse and you don't have to put your stuff on a dirty table or anything like that. This is leather. And um, it's a very, very nice little workspace. It's, it's portable workspace. Now, again, this bag has a lot of options. Uh, if you looked at the B-roll, you know, it comes with its own little tablet slash laptop holder if you didn't want to use this area right here. So you do have options. And again, I will have all of these items that we've B-rolled and kind of gone over in the show notes with links where you can check them out and get them for yourself. And personally, this is everything that I need to work professionally, productively, um, anywhere. And shout out to Stuart and Laugh for this amazing bag uh, that made this all come together because I've got a lot of gear and this bag holds it well and uh, looks very, very professional. And I'm saying one of the top-notch bags that there is. And there's some options. You know, we went over them in the B-roll from this here sling arm to having these handy and carry it like a briefcase. So lots of different options for this bad boy. Again, check the show notes. I'll have a link for all these goods. And hopefully uh, you enjoyed this. The B-roll of the entire setup set up. And as always, guys, if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're really liking me to be in front of the camera versus behind the camera, let me know. Maybe we'll go with this format from now on, right? If not, I go back to behind the camera. It's up to you, right? We'll probably do a little bit of both. All right. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one.